Hey guys, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use CMS and repeaters to create your own custom shop page and product page. Now, this video does require some prerequisites. So if you haven't seen my last two videos on CMS and repeaters, I highly suggest you go watch those before you watch this. The links to those will be in the description below. Also, I want to mention that this new beta editor has been giving me some glitches. Um, so just follow the steps that I'm telling you and hopefully you won't run into these issues as well. But in the video, I teach you how I kind of work around those issues if you are having similar issues as well. And before we get started, I do want to mention that only 15% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you're new around here or you've been viewing my videos for a while, I want to challenge you to subscribe to the channel if you find this video useful at any point. Subscribing helps the channel grow. It also tells YouTube's algorithm that people are enjoying the content and they should promote the videos more. That way more people get the help that they need. But with that out of the way, let's dive right into the video. For today's video, we're going to be using one of Wix's artsy templates. And if we look on the shop page, you know, it actually doesn't look all that bad. But maybe we want to add different kind of hover interactions that don't come custom in the shop page. And maybe for the product page, we want to add like videos or audio clips of something that we're selling as a digital product. The first thing I want to do is add CMS to our website. So I'm going to come up to add, go down to content manager and press add to site. Then it's going to ask us if we want to use a preset. For this one, I'm just going to do custom and I'm going to go ahead and customize it. I want to name the collection shop content and I want a dynamic list page and I want a dynamic item page. So we'll go ahead and add both of those to our site. Then it's gonna open up a database with a bunch of preset stuff in here. But to be honest, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all of this. Okay, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and add another field. We're gonna name this one product. And this one is going to be a reference. And what we're going to reference is the products database. And the reason we're referencing the product database is because if, if we go to our databases and open up the products database, you're going to notice up here that this one is set to read only. So if we go all the way to the end, we cannot add different fields. So we can't add custom videos or custom audio clips or anything like that. So that is why we created a separate database. And that is why we created a field called product, which is a reference to the products database. So now if I come over here, I can go ahead and select one of my products. The next field I can do audio and I can set the field type to audio and then I can add a custom video and make the field type a video. So now let's go ahead and do this for each one of the products. Now that we have all of our products listed here and I went ahead and named them by number now we can go ahead and add audio and video to each one as well. So we're just going to press this plus icon and I'm going to go ahead and upload my video and audio clip. And for the audio clip, we're going to choose the audio clip and for video, we're going to choose the video. And we're, I'm just going to use the same one for each one of these. But of course, if you want to do this, you're going to want to have different examples. And now that our database is complete, we can go ahead and exit out and we can start designing our pages. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and stretch it to be the full width of the screen. Then I want to add about 60 pixels of margin to the right and left. And then I'm just going to go ahead and delete everything inside of it because I want to do it manually. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the item and we're going to go ahead and shrink it up quite a bit to where there's four items across the page. And then I want to expand it down a little bit to be maybe around 530 pixels. Next, let's go ahead and add an image. It doesn't really matter what this image is. And I'm going to go ahead and shrink it down, put it inside of the item. And we're going to go ahead and edit it and crop it to where it fits the entire screen of the repeater. Next, let's go ahead and add some hover interactions. So we're going to go ahead and press this. We're going to choose effect and we're going to press grow, customize, and maybe do 105% like that. And we're going to go ahead and add a box to it, just like this. Make sure it's in the front. And we'll go ahead and press design and we're going to make sure the color is at 100 percent then we're going to bring it up to the top left and bring it all the way down and now let's go ahead and add some text 
which this text is huge, we only want it to be about 40 pixels. And we want to make sure it is set to white. Actually, we do want it to be black. Now, for some reason, the editor is glitching out and it's not letting me see what I'm designing. So I'm just using the layers panel to make sure I'm selecting the right item. And we're going to go ahead and edit the text and make sure it is set to black. And I'm going to select the container that's right behind it. We're going to change the design so that this is set to white, but maybe it has 70% 70, 70 um, opacity. That way, when I preview the site and hover over it, you're going to see it works like that. So forgive the editor because it's glitching out on me. And even though I can't see it very well, just know it's still there. <laughs> Um, but we're gonna go ahead and also add a button. So we're gonna go ahead and add this button. We're gonna go ahead and add it like right about here. Okay, and now it's time to link everything to the shop. So we're gonna go ahead and press this connect to data. We're going to connect this one to the shop content title. We're gonna select the text from the layers panel because it's not visible for whatever reason. And we're gonna make sure that this one is set to the title. And then let's go back to regular instead of hover. And we're going to connect this image to the main media source from our reference, from the products database. So now when I preview the site, you're gonna see that the product names are correct. And when I press the button, it's going to take us to the product page, which we have yet to design. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and press back to editor. And we can do two things here. We can design it as a regular shop page and then link everyone to the regular product page, or we can design it in some cool way. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete everything again, because we're gonna start from scratch, as we always do. And then what I want to do is we're gonna go ahead and add a strip. In this strip, we're gonna move down the next button, next and previous button. Okay, then we're gonna add another strip. And then we're gonna raise up this top strip just like this, so it's just the back button. But then we're gonna go ahead and add another strip right here, and we can make this one quite large. Maybe we can make this one like 600 pixels tall. And we can connect this one to the data, and we're gonna make this one the main media image. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the effect fade in to the background scroll. And then let's go ahead and add another strip down below. We'll make this one 600 pixels as well, and we're gonna go ahead and add a second column. Over here, let's go ahead and add some text. We're gonna go ahead and add a title in a paragraph, and we'll go ahead and add a button. Then over here to the right, let's go ahead and add a video. So we're gonna come down to video. We're gonna do a video box, and we're just gonna choose this one right here. And then underneath that, let's go ahead and add an audio player. Okay, now let's start connecting everything to our data. So we're gonna go ahead and connect this one to the title. We're gonna connect this one to the description which is from the product reference. We're gonna go ahead and link this one to the product page URL so they can actually buy it. For this video, of course, we're gonna connect it to our video. And for the audio, we're gonna go ahead and connect it to our audio clip. So now when I go ahead and preview the website, we're gonna see that the image is right here, which you can design this however you want. And then we have the product name, the description, an option for the user to buy it. Then we have the video over here, and we also have the audio clip right here. And that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more Wix content coming out real soon. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you on the next one.